Oh God, here we go again. You know, I get these calls that we've had a plumber come out. You've heard those calls, right? Well, this one was different because they want me to come out and do a sewer test to let them know is their sewer leaking or not. They've already paid to have this test done twice. Now, why is this a big deal? Company number one told her all her cast iron pipe is rotted and needs to be replaced. Company number two said, really, you don't have any problems. Everything's fine. Now, here's the funny thing about it. I know both these companies and I know they're under a big corporate umbrella owned by this mega corporation. That's really funny to me that plumber number one tells him everything needs to be replaced and he can prove it. Plumber number two, same thing. Everything's fine, I'm telling you. So that's when she called me and she says, look, I just need somebody to tell me the truth. Are there problems under my house or is everything fine? So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna do a sewer test. Now I may go ahead and do a water test too just to see, but my biggest concern is I wanna do a sewer test to see does she have problems or does she not? So, look, the other company's already come out, put in a two-way cleanout. Not sure if that was the first company or second, I didn't ask, but we know that somebody spent time and money to find out the right way. So, let's test this and see what happens. So we ordered some new cases for our test balls and test hoses, and I really do like this. It's a great way to protect them keep them clean, keep everything good. We've got a new ball on here and I'm in PVC, so I'm not really worried about waxing it so much because literally I'll be able to put it right between the two-way cleanouts and observe in this one whether it's leaking past or not. Ball's rated at 45 PSI, so I'm gonna leave it right there. Now there's a lot of plumbers that would just use the customer's hoses. I always like to use my own hoses. That way I know that I've got my washers in it and nothing's gonna get everything else wet. Also, they can never tell me that I messed up their hose or did anything wrong. Here's the funny thing. There have been two different plumbers over here lately that was leaking like crazy and neither one of them took just a second to tighten up the pack in that. Kind of crazy. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna wait. Thanks to the people at Luminox. We've got a good watch here. We can tell exactly what time it is. And we know at five minutes till, we need to check our test. Yeah. Now one thing I wanna do I want to look down in here to make sure. Remember, I put the test ball right between the cleanouts. <laughs> well, whatever plumber she used to install our two way cleanouts has a leak on the top. As you can see, you wipe it away and water just keeps running down. So, there's a bad glue joint up here on the two-way cleanouts. You can see that when I wipe it away, everything just keeps coming right back. See the trails running down? So that tells me this is gonna leak down, I know, to the top of the PVC. Now, my question is, did they do that thinking that they could video it from this side and show her? I mean, look at that. There's, there's a lot of water coming out of just the top of this, and this is something that they charged her for. I wonder if they got it permitted and inspected.
Okay, so here we are looking at it. Now remember, we had water running down the pipe earlier so that we know we had a leak on this female adapter. But now if you look inside, it has literally only dropped. And if you look on this side, which the way the plumber installed, the way the pipes cut, on the inside, you can see that water's really only dropped about a quarter of an inch past that. Now we're gonna leave it on there for about five more minutes to see if it drops any more. But to be honest, the biggest problem was this female adapter leaking. So the plumber who came by and said, all the pipe under the house is rotted, leaking, and needs to be replaced. Not really. Anyway, that's what we're looking at right now. We'll give it about five more minutes and look at it and see what it does from here. What kind of plumber do you want to be? I mean, look at what we just saw here. This lady has had two plumbers come over that, like I said, are owned by the same umbrella company. The first plumber comes over, runs a camera only, and says, your sewer is shot. It all needs to be replaced. If you'll take money out of your retirement and borrow money here and come up with about $60,000, we can fix it. Now, I just showed you, we did a water test. Really? Don't ever trust a camera. The lady told me there's a guy on next door that says cameras don't lie. Well, they don't lie, but they don't always tell the truth because they don't know the truth. They can't see the truth. So here's the thing. Plumber number one says everything needs to be replaced, $60,000. Plumber number two also just runs a camera and says, hey, by the way, I don't see anything worth replacing it for, but you know, I don't, I'm not sure. Now, I don't know why he didn't run a test because I told her the only way to prove 100% yes or no, is there a leak, is to do a test like this. So you saw it, we put the test ball right between the testes, filled it up with water, and yes, it leaked because plumber number one, G, did a piss poor job. But guys, here's the deal. He didn't inspect it. He didn't pull permits. He didn't do what he was supposed to do. So there's issues there. But at the end of the day, at least plumber two was halfway honest. He said, look, I don't see anything worth doing, but you know, I'm not sure. Guys, at the end of the day, if you want to prove to your customer, or if you're a homeowner and you want to know 100% for sure, do you have leaks under your house? Do a water test. It's not called a hydrostatic because we didn't add it any external pressure. Do a water test. We recommend this to anybody buying a house. This lady had foundation problems and wanted to know, do I have problems with my plumbing that are causing these problems? At the end of the day, no ma'am you don't, save your $60,000. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.